Hey, Shalom Israel. Um, this is your brother Jediah. Um, yeah, I was here, man. I was um, running a few errands and making a few stops. And, you know, I'm finding out just like a lot of y'all that um, Kevin Samuels is dead. Now, um, Brother Areem, he was the first to tell me about it. And um, Brother Yeshaya, who he hit me up too and let me know what was going on. Um, I was a person who was familiar with Kevin Samuels, but never, never really watched him because um, when I first looked into him, I seen um, that he, uh, in his setup, he had kind of like um, something that you use for hypnosis. It's, I don't know what the name of the device is, but it's like a pendulum, I think, that swings back and forth. And um, you use that in order to put people in a hypnotic state. And so he said some things that really resonated with a lot of people. And for some people, it was real controversial, real controversial. But, um, you know, I kind of really wanted to just talk about, you know, the message for our people about, especially for our brothers and our men, about what an alpha male really is. What does it mean to be an alpha male? And who was the first one to call himself an alpha male? You know, of course, it's, it's Yehoshua HaMashiach. He said, I am the Aleph and the Tau. So, you know, when these things were translated into Greek, he said, you know, it says that he is the, 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 the Alpha and the Omega. So what a real Alpha male really is, is somebody who um, walks the walk of the Messiah, who have that king ability. Yehoshua was king of kings and lord of lords, Adonai, Adonai. So, he, he's an alpha male, and he's the one that we pattern ourselves after to have high value. He's the one who shows us what it's like to walk like a king. David was an alpha male. Abraham, Moses, Joshua, these were alpha males. But um, the thing I want to talk about is that, um, you know, Kevin Samuels, he had a lot of advice and concerning relationships concerning um you know the struggle between black men and black women and they call it the gender war and um again he, he was controversial like a lot of people know but um he died and it appears man that when he died he died with a woman that he just met the night before you know um the reports are that um, he met a woman and, and took that woman home with him the same night he met her, you know, which sounds like a hookup. And then he brought her to his house. They probably, you know, were engaged in sex with each other, which because, you know, they're not married to each other and they don't have no prior relationship. That's fornication. So he's giving people relationship advice and a lot of people's following this advice. And then when you look at the way his end is, he died in fornication, man. And that's really something that, you know, we need to be paying attention to, man, because who, <laughs> when they got to see the face of the creator of the most high, who wants to be going out like that, man? Who wants to be going out your last breath is with a stranger, with a, with a strange woman that you just met? And probably because, you know, you was engaged in fornication and lust with her. And then this is the person who you take your last breath with is not a woman you love. It's not somebody that you cherish. It's not somebody you care about. It's not somebody you'll ever even see again. And chances are that if she is someone who's not really compassionate like that, this is going to be a come up for her. She's probably going to use something like this to her advantage and to try to come up in the game and make a name for herself. And maybe she'll start a new blog on relationships and all of this stuff. She might be on Oprah's show. She might be doing Red Table Talk and all of that kind of stuff, which is, you know, it's not really funny, but it's really ironic, you know, that, you know, a man who's known for these things dies in such a way. You know, so us as Hebrews, we got to be careful of who we get our advice from and who we look to for information. Now, I'm not going to say that the brother didn't speak some things that were true because I heard you know, people talk about some of the things that he would mention and some of the things are truths and some of them are hard truths. And then some of them are just false. You know, some of the things that um, um, 
the entitlement issues that people have in their relationships. I think he talked a lot about that and some of the sisters, the entitlement issues they have. But then he also talked about men and how they have to step their game up and and increase their value in order to make themselves attractive to women, which there's some truth to that as well. Because, um, you know, the most high created Adam to be a king and to be a man, you know, um, uh, of, of means. He gave him authority over that garden. So us as men, we got to take the authority that Yah has given us. We know the world is against us. The world don't want to see us flourish. The world don't want to see us prosper. They don't want to see us move forward. But, you know, us as saints, you know, we, you know, as men, you know, we still have to find a way through Yehoshua HaMashiach and through the Ruach, you know, to prosper and to prevail. Because he give us that ability. He give us that strength. You know, um, you know, look at uh, Joseph. Joseph was in, in, in bondage, you know what I'm saying? But because of the Ruach, the Most High elevated him and lifted him up on high. So let's look at Kevin Samuel's life, you know. He probably made a deal with the evil one. I'm going to just keep it real, you know, from my observation, you know, being on YouTube, you know, for for a little bit of time and not really being known and then being exploding, exploding in popularity all of a sudden and then a sudden demise and a sudden end. And then I saw a video clip earlier today. I don't know how many of y'all know, but he, he made a video talking about he's going to hell and everybody who listened to him is going to hell with him. Yeah, I seen that. And this was one on his own broadcast from his own mouth. He said this. So, you know, us as saints, we got to be careful about these things, because if we feed our mind, um, you know, information like this and people made a deal with the devil in order to get fame, in order to get popularity, to get notoriety, then their end is not where we trying to go. And so the advice that they give us, it might have some truth in it. But if you hit your wagon to that, it's going to lead you down the wrong path, y'all. So, you know, we don't we don't want to, um, you know, uh, um, celebrate in anyone's demise. And we don't want to be the type of people to um, revel in the fall of somebody who could have been saved. And I'm sure he's heard the truth. You know, everybody in our community done heard the truth if they on YouTube. Everybody hears the truth. Everybody who's black know they are Israelite at this point. Whether they choose to walk in it or not is something totally different. So we know he knows that. But imagine dying, man, like between the lips or the legs of a strange woman. Somebody you just met the night before, literally, she's a nurse supposedly. But it sounds strange. It almost sounds like a setup to me. But I don't really know. I don't know the details. So I don't want to, you know, I don't want to tell bear necessarily. But it's, it's just very suspicious. But imagine you meeting somebody and you hooking up with somebody and then literally the, that night or early in the morning, you're literally dying on top of them. And you got to you got to hope that a stranger is going to call the ambulance for you. The stranger is going to be the one who who uh, is the witness and testifies as to what happened. They're going to be the one who knows all your intimate and private details before your own family, before your own loved ones, Israel. So we got to we got to pay attention to these things, man, because the most high is not playing with. You're not playing with people no more. You know, I think this year is going to be a year of judgment. I'm seeing a lot of things happening in the world and even in Israel, um, you know, and we want to be on the right side of judgment so that we could receive rewards. But Kevin Samuels, um, he literally died the way the Most High told us not to. I'm going to get a scripture in the book of Proverbs. In the book of Proverbs, chapter five, it talks about, you know, the strange woman. And staying away from a strange woman because uh, going towards her could lead to your demise, could lead to your downfall. And sisters, for a strange man, it's the same thing. You can get with a strange man, somebody who seems like Mr. Right and all of this, but they ain't really got the Ruach in them. And Satan unsent them to destroy you. We got to be careful. All of these things, sisters, y'all got to guard yourselves, man. You know, I'm hearing stories of sisters, man, are going through it with with men who supposedly in the truth and then they're not in the truth and they switching up on people. I'm hearing a lot of things and it's no one in particular because I'm, I'm, I hear it a lot and I see it on social media. I see my emails when people write to me and the people need prayer. All kinds of things are going on. You know, people's children is getting, um, you know, seduced and enticed by the world. And, you know, all these things are going on back and forth. And we got to be careful about these things. 
But Kevin Kevin Samuels is someone who's very notable. Um, and I think it's something that the most high it wants us all to pay attention to. It don't make sense, man, to gain the world and then lose your soul in the process. So he has great notoriety, great fame, and all of that stuff. He's known everywhere. And people are talking about his name all over the internet and social media and all of this stuff. But at what price, y'all? At what cost? We trying to get to the kingdom to see the real alpha male, Yehoshua. You, our Messiah, we trying to see Yahshua. That's who we waiting on, y'all. So like anything else that leads you any to any other location is not where we trying to end up as saints. So we can't get deceived by these things. So the book of Proverbs chapter five, I was checking this out earlier. It says, my son, attend unto my wisdom and bow thine ear to my understanding. So the most high put the word out. People get free will to choose what they're going to do with it, though. It says that thou mayest regard discretion and that thy lips may keep knowledge for the lips of a strange woman drop as a honeycomb. It seemed real sweet, man, when he probably met this woman. I heard she's Hawaiian. I heard she's not even a sister. I don't know the confirmation about this, but I heard she was a woman of Hawaiian descent, not a woman of his own people. So he decided to, to deal with a strange woman and then died probably in the bed with her or next. Yeah, probably in the bed with her. Maybe who knows during fornication. But these are things that us as Hebrew men and women, we have to guard ourselves against, man. For the lips of a strange woman drop as a honeycomb and her mouth is smoother than oil. It seems real sweet and real nice at first. But her end is bitter as wormwood, sharp as a two edged sword, man. Man, for him to have done this, his end, her end was real bitter. And I bet you when he met her that night, wherever he met her at. He wasn't expecting her to be the cause of his death. It's really his own sins that causes death, but she was the probably the vehicle through which death came to him. And so we could we could be with a person that we meet and it seems sweet and it seems so nice at first, but death is abiding and waiting inside of that person for you, y'all. So you gotta you gotta guard yourself, you gotta protect yourself, you gotta know what you're worth. And and we're precious in the eyes of the most high, y'all. So that's something we never want to lose sight of. But her end is bitter as wormwood, sharp as a two-edged sword. Her feet go down to death. Her steps take hold on hell. So, man, this, you know, he's probably looking at her legs and say, oh, man, she looks so good. This, this, this and that. And and that's his that's his last sight. That's what he see before he dies. Then you got to answer before the most high. And all the la the labor that he's worked for, everything he's accomplished, he can't. We can't take that with us, y'all. So now that he can't take that, he can't. He can't. He can't take it with him. You know, um, it was all in vain. Her feet go down to death. Her steps take hold on hell. Lest thou shouldest ponder the path of life, her ways are movable that thou canst not know them. So you think you know this person, but you really don't know them because you didn't take the time to pray. You didn't take the time to fast. You didn't take the time to ask the most how to reveal these things. And you just jumped in with this person and it led to your own destruction. So now he has a long time. He's probably going to have an eternity to think about this. Because he said he was going to hell. He didn't say he was trying to get to the kingdom. So if he said this, chances are he's he's. He's in punishment because he didn't repent and he didn't heed wisdom, y'all. Let's listen. Hear me now, therefore, O ye children, and depart not from the words of my mouth. Remove thy way far from her and come not nigh the door of her house. So when you know we see something and someone like this, we gotta we gotta depart from it until you know the most high gives some some signs, he gets some witnesses, he gets some verifications. But if we just led by the lust, man, it, it man, it don't. It, in these days and times, it don't take that much to get caught up. And if you're a man of notoriety or, or a woman who's you know attractive and all of these things, you know, vanity can catch you and take you out fast. So you got to guard yourselves, man. Remove thy way far from her and come not nigh the door of her house, lest thou give thine honor unto others and thy years unto the cruel. 
lest strangers be filled with thy wealth and thy labors be in the house of a stranger. So now she's a strange woman and she's um, a Hawaiian woman. Now, all that he worked for in the mass, you know, he's she's probably going to get uh, a big piece of, of what he worked for. She's going to become famous because Kevin Samuels died probably in the bed with her. So she's going to become notable. She's going to have celebrity. She's going to be able to make a, a name for herself off of his death. So we need to be careful of these things, man. Um, like I said, you know, I know a lot of people listen to him, but I really I really didn't listen to him because I saw that he was doing um, witchcraft. When you got that pendulum swinging on your desk and you and you taking advice and you answering questions and people are desperate these days. They want to find love. People are trying to hide it. You know, they are saying I want to get the bag and this and that. But what they're really looking for is love. And they're trying to find it and they go into a lot of people for advice. And some of the advice is good and some of it is not. But without the most high, nothing is going to last without them. So they're calling him and he's hypnotizing them. How do you think he got so popular so fast? He was doing witchcraft. He was hypnotizing people. He had the pendulum swinging back and forth, back and forth. So this put people in a hypnotic state where you can't take your eyes off of it. So, you know, in the book of Psalms, chapter 101, it says uh, not to put your eyes on an evil thing. So we got to we got to be careful of these things. We have to guard ourselves, man. We got to guard our eye gates, our ear gates. You know what I'm saying? Even our mouth, the things that we say. You know, all the things that we say, we're going to be held accountable for, you know. So, you know, when it comes to our platforms and what we wh who we are as Hebrews and the things we known for, we got to keep it according to the word. y'all. So, you know, it's, it's, it's a shame that, uh, to see a brother die that didn't have to die. And it's a shame to see a brother, you know, with a uh, platform who could have used a platform for really good things. You know, he used it, you know, some good was done. But, you know, um, but again, in the end, you know, if you gain the world and lose your soul, what was what was it for? So he gained the world and, you know, everybody's talking about him today and they'll probably be talking about him for the next two weeks. But at the cost of his soul, y'all, it ain't worth it, man. So, you know, let's let's you know, let's look at the true alpha male who's our Messiah, Hamashiach, Yehoshua Hamashiach, you know, um. Let's not get caught up out here, you know, because now he got a he got a he has a mother. He has a daughter. He has family. But who wants to die in the bed with a stranger that they just met, you know, laying up with uh, from the night before? Who want to go out like that? I know I don't, you know, and I know y'all don't either. You know, and, and when y'all willing, when it's our time, when it's that time, we want the most high to smile upon us. We don't want the adversary accusing us at our last breath what we was doing actually was fornication and getting us caught up out there but you know the most high bless y'all man and you know just be aware of what's going on you know everybody's going to be talking about this this is very marketable for a lot of people too so you know expect that people are going to be talking about this thing probably for two or three weeks maybe even longer but like when we hear these things let's listen with discernment and when we see these things let's look with the right eyes because your host would say he who have ears let him hear what the Ruach have to say to the assembly. So let's hear what the Ruach have to say in the midst of all of these things so that we not deceived. And, um, you know, there's a lot of people hurting. There's a lot of people in pain and a lot of people, you know, they really just want relationships. They really just want a husband. They really just want a wife. And Satan is finding a way because he's the one that sold the discord from the beginning with Adam and Eve. He's doing the same thing in these last times and days as well. So he's the one that creates the discord and then he tries to sell us snake oil salesmen, you know, to give us um, half truths and half information on how to fix our lives. So let's always take it back to the source, which is the most high. So family, I love y'all, man. The most high bless y'all. And, um, you know, stay safe. Shalom.